Did you know that this channel gets over 4 million views and generates over $10,000 in ad revenue every month without ever having a face on camera? And now you can also get similar results in minutes using the power of AI. You don't have to learn any script writing or video editing skills to build and scale your own faceless YouTube channel. With the release of OpenAI's ChatGPT, you can now get AI to generate gold standard YouTube scripts in under 10 minutes and then you can use in video to quickly turn them into published ready videos. And today we'll show you exactly how you can also create such videos in just 5 easy steps. The best part is that this process is so easy that you will be able to follow along even if you're completely new to video creation. So grab a pen and paper and let's get started. The first step is to pick an idea for your video. Now there are tons of ways and tools that you can use to do this, but one of the easiest ways to get started is to go to a popular channel in your niche and look at their top performing videos to see which ideas have gotten them the most views. That's what we are also doing for the purpose of this tutorial. We'll look at Turopia's most popular videos and start working with an idea that appeals to the most of us. I really like the idea for a listicle showcasing the most beautiful beaches in the world. Now once you've finalized your idea, the next step is to write a compelling script. If you've tried this before, you know it can take hours to write a great script and even then you don't know if it will work and keep your viewers engaged. Thankfully, with ChatGPT, a major chunk of that problem gets solved and you can create a compelling YouTube script in minutes. To get started, you will first need to sign up to ChatGPT. The process is fairly straightforward. You can sign up with an existing Google or Microsoft account and then verify your phone number with an OTP to log in. Once you're logged in, you can see a prompt box at the bottom of the screen. This is where you will give the AI prompts for the kind of script you want. As with any AI tool, how you write your prompts will massively drive the success of your video. An easy way to simplify this is to ensure that you include five key elements in your prompt. These are the type of video that you're creating, for example, a YouTube video script, a YouTube Shorts video script or an Instagram video script, the topic that you want it to cover, the length of the video, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, however long you want it to be, the tone of voice you are going for, and any specific details you want added as well as any inputs on scripting style. For this video, we want the AI to create a script around the 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. Now you could just give it this prompt and you will get a script, but it will not be YouTube ready. So here's how you can write the prompt instead. Now with this first line we've already taken care of the topic the platform and the length of the video. Now we need to add some details about the video's tonality. So this is what I'm going to write. After this I want to add some additional details as well so I'm going to go ahead and add those. These take care of the specific details I want in my video. A detailed prompt like this ensures that you get a fairly detailed script from the get-go. Here's another example of a prompt for a book channel. Again, we cover all five of the key elements that we talked about before. Now, once you click enter after writing your prompt, ChatGPT creates the script in real time. It takes a couple of minutes depending on how long you want your video to be, and it looks something like this. Now, once you have your first draft, you can read through and if you want any changes or inclusions you can give additional prompts to the ai i feel that the points here aren't detailed enough for a 10 minute long video so i will prompt the ai to elaborate more on each point and now we have a fairly detailed script often it doesn't take more than one or two iterations to get the kind of script that you want especially if you've used a detailed prompt like we have From here, simply copy and paste your script into a plagiarism checker like this one to check the sanctity of the script. As you can see, the AI has generated a completely unique script that is not picked up from any website. There's just this one red link where a few words it suggests are picked up from another website where it's simply a phrase. So this is not really plagiarism. 
and if you feel if there's any other part that you feel is marked in red and looks like plagiarism you can simply rephrase that sentence to ensure it's not now once your script is finalized simply paste it into a doc file and you're ready to start creating your video the next step is to create your voiceover based on your script this is a crucial step for faceless videos because this is your chance to give a personality to your videos. Goes without saying, but your videos won't do very well if they're just clips synced to music. Additionally, your voiceover will determine the media you use for your video. So this is the first thing you need to sort out. Now, while you can easily hire someone from Fiverr or Upwork for as low as $10, a better and cheaper idea is to record it yourself and within video that's super easy to do. Just sign into your InVideo account and click on the editor option in the dashboard. Choose landscape as your aspect ratio because we are creating this video for YouTube and this will open up InVideo's super intuitive editor. Here right in the center you have the canvas that shows you the preview of your video and below it is the timeline where all of your media will be placed. On the left, you have the assets menu from where you will be able to choose different assets to add to your video. Now to record a voiceover, you will have to add a placeholder media. So simply go to the image tab in the left menu and add a single image by clicking on the plus sign next to the image. Now, as you can see, this opens up the voiceover controls that are visible right above the timeline. To start recording your voiceover, simply click on the little mic icon and select the option to record your voiceover. If you have an external microphone, plug it into your laptop now. Otherwise, press on the little mic to start recording using your laptop's internal microphone. Keep your script open so that you can read from it while the audio is recording. And don't worry if you fumble or make a mistake, we can easily edit that out later. Now, once your video is recorded, click on add and it will get added to the timeline. Extend the duration of your image by dragging the endpoints so the entire voiceover is editable and then zoom into the timeline to see the waveforms more clearly. Now in order to trim out the unnecessary parts such as fumbles, repetitions or long pauses, drag your cursor to the point you want to cut and then either click on the scissor icon right above the timeline or press C on your keyboard to split the audio file. You can do this at as many places as necessary. To delete a portion between two splits, simply select it and press delete on your keyboard. And then you can select the empty space as well and press delete again to combine all the final parts of your view together into one continuous narration. Once you've done that for the entire voiceover, it's time to move on to the next step, which is adding your media. Depending on the video you're creating, you will need a variety of clips and the easiest way to figure out what clips to use is to listen to your voiceover and simultaneously choose videos for each part. If you already have your own pictures and videos, you can upload them using the Upload tab and even segregate it into folders for different projects. And if you don't have media of your own, you can use the inbuilt stock library that has over 8 million royalty-free assets to search for royalty-free images and video clips for your project. So the first bit in this voiceover asks a question. Are you ready for a virtual tour of the most breathtaking beaches in the world? So we want to choose a clip of a beautiful beach that will set the context for the video and introduce what we are talking about. So we'll go to the video tab in the left menu and search for beautiful beaches. Try a few different keyboard combinations and see what results turn up. After scrolling through, this is the video that I like. So I'm going to simply click on the plus icon and then click add in the pop-up window to add my video to the timeline. Now, once it's added, we want to adjust the size of the video to fit the screen. Simply select it on the canvas and drag around the endpoints. Once that's done, we want to trim the duration of this clip to match the duration of the voiceover. So I will simply drag the endpoint of the clip and bring it to where I want it to end. Now, similarly, you want to play the next part of your voiceover Pack your sunscreen and get ready for some serious beach envy. So it makes sense to look for a clip of someone packing a bag for their beach trip or someone keeping sunscreen in a bag. So once again, we'll go ahead and search for similar results using the search bar. And then once we find the video we like, we'll add it to the timeline in a similar fashion and then trim it accordingly. 
You can then use these controls on top to further enhance your clips. You can use the adjust colors options to add filter or color correct your videos. There are a bunch of controls on here. You can also choose to add animation to your clips by choosing this animation option right on top. Similarly, you want to go ahead, listen to each part of your voiceover and keep adding relevant clips. Generally, you want to keep the length of each clip as 3 to 4 seconds because longer clips can quickly bore out your viewers and they might drop off. Now, once your media is added, it's time to add the finishing touches that is your text and your background music. Since this is a listicle video, we will need to add text to introduce the topic of the video and then to highlight each beach destination that we introduce in the list. So go to the text tab in the left menu and you can scroll through to find different text styles that already have animation added to them. Let's look through the minimalist options. I really like this style. So to add it to the screen, I will simply click on it and it will get added on the canvas. I can then reposition it on the canvas because I want it in the center. So I will just drag and bring it there and also make the size a little bigger. And I also want it to begin at the start of the video. So I will just drag the text box on the timeline and bring it right to the front. Now to edit the text itself, I will just double click on the text box to open up the edit window and I will type out my own text here. We want to say top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. Once the basic text is added, you can use the controls on top of the canvas to customize it further. I want to change the color of certain words to highlight them. So I will select them in the edit window and then choose the highlight option that appears right on top of the selected text. And then I'll go to the text color options right on top of the canvas and change the color of the highlight. And this looks pretty good. You can similarly change the font, play with effects and even change the animation. I like all of those things for now, so I'm going to let them stay as is. You similarly want to go ahead and add text to the rest of your video, highlighting each listicle point and any other interesting fact that you want to bring up. Now, once you've added all your text, it's time to add your background music. Now, this is a step you can choose to skip since we already have a voiceover. But adding music helps the viewers connect better with your video and makes it a lot more engaging. So go to the music tab in the left menu. Here you have a section of royalty free music tracks segregated on the basis of mood and genre that you can use for your video. We want the video to inspire people to travel. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the inspiring genre and browse through the different tracks. Once I find a track that I like, I will simply click on the plus icon to add it to the timeline. Right now, the music is playing at full volume and making it hard for us to hear the voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and select the music track and then use the volume and fade controls on top of the canvas to lower the volume so that it doesn't clash with the voiceover. Usually between minus 15 to minus 20 decibels is a good range, but make sure you give it a listen before you finalize. Once you've added all your elements, it's time to preview your video. We've only created this for one point instead of all 10 so that you don't have to sit through a 10 minute preview. So go ahead and simply click on the play button underneath the canvas to view what your video looks like. Are you ready for a virtual tour of the most breathtaking beaches in the world? Pack your sunscreen and get ready for some serious beach envy. Let's take a look at the top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. Number one is Whitehaven Beach, Australia. This stunning stretch of white sandy beach is located on Whitsunday Island in the Great Barrier Reef. The beach stretches over 7 kilometers long and it's surrounded by beautiful hills and tropical rainforests, making it a perfect place to enjoy a picnic or a walk. This has turned out to be a pretty great video. Once you're happy with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. Now, once your video is rendered, you can download it and then upload it to your channel. Make sure you think of a catchy title and design an interesting thumbnail to ensure people click on your video as well. And that's how you can create and build a faceless YouTube channel that can get you views and make you real money in minutes with ChatGPT and in video.